Good morning, boys. How are you today? Great. Look, it's about uh, 7 o'clock at night here, and I'm just driving across this beautiful bridge. It's called the Centennial Bridge here in Miramichi, New Brunswick, Canada. You can see there aren't many cars on the road now because many people are at home, just like in many parts of the world because of the COVID-19 virus. And if you look over the bridge, you can see a little bit of the, the city where I live. And today I'm going to give you a, a little bit of a tour of my town before the sun goes down. Would you like that? I hope so. So, oh, the roads here are kind of bumpy. Bumpity bump. But hopefully I'll be downtown soon and we can have a look around together. All right. Now here we're coming down what is called University Avenue. To the left, there's a college where my dad used to teach. It's called New Brunswick Community College. On the over there, that building, and here you can see there's a graveyard. You know how many people are dead in there? All of them. It's a bad joke. Over here, you can see a, a big church, a big spire. That's St. Michael's Church like the big mosques maybe in Saudi Arabia. There's another college that's St. Michael's Elementary, a big old school. And we're gonna go downtown now. You can see some of the houses as we drive by here. There aren't many people out in the streets at all. It's a very quiet town normally and today it's even quieter. So we're going down to the downtown and hopefully you get a chance to see some of the old historic buildings. I'll turn right here and then we'll go down into the downtown and I'll take you on a little walking tour. So quiet here. So I'm going to turn left and once these cars go by, nobody coming. Here's a, a theater, a Vogue theater. When I was a boy, when I was about in my 20s, about your age, I used to come down here to watch movies, but these days it's closed as a movie theater, but they do a lot of uh, concerts and uh, comedy theater, um, and uh, it's a nice place. So we're coming down a street called Canard Street, and what I'll do, I'll drive down one more, and then we're going to come along the river, and you'll see how that's kind of a nice place to see the sunset all right like I said it's about uh, seven o'clock here so that means it's about one o'clock in the morning where you are in Saudi Arabia you're sleeping at the moment but I am getting ready to go to bed and I have to be up again at two o'clock in the morning so that we can meet now here you can see there's a big post office the population of this town is about 10,000, so there's not a lot of people compared to the big cities of Saudi Arabia or UAE, like Dubai or something, but it's, it's a nice old town, I think. So what I'm going to do is go over here. Yeah, I'll go downtown. Look at this. Now, usually this place is full of people walking around doing their business, but now it's... It's like a, a ghost town, isn't it? There's nobody down here. So, it's a quiet little town where I was brought up. There's some businesses over here. And oh, there's one person walking, lady walking for evening stroll. I'm going to take a, a right turn here. There used to be a train station, but this is a sad story. It burnt down a few years ago. And let me see if I can get in here. Oh, maybe not. In the summer times, I like to come down here with my family, and my son plays in this little playground area. But today, 
there's nobody here except you and me. So let's see. So I've just parked my car. You can see it's a Hyundai Santa Fe. It's an okay car. It gets me from point A to point B. And uh, I want to show you a bit of the snow here, guys. You see what it's like? Some of you may have been in snow before. It's kind of kind of dirty now because it's been melting. But uh, there, you can play some snowball fights. <laughs> so this is the playground where my son comes. You can see and over here is the river. This is what I wanted to show you. And there's a the bridge that I just drove across across and drove over is there in the background. You can see that. So this area is called Waterford Park and it was a place where they used to build many ships in the 1800s here in Canada. These days it's pretty quiet. They don't build many ships here now. At the time they built the ships out of wood but of course now most of the heavy ships that cross the Atlantic are made of the same material that you see that bridge is made of, which is uh, iron and more sturdy materials, of course. It's a beautiful place here at, at the uh, sunsets, I thought, and I'd catch the sunset here with you guys. So, inshallah, you like this. I want to introduce you to one last guy here before I leave the park. So you can see somebody sitting here. This is a statue, it's not a real man. Someone's been very kind and they've given him a scarf. So that he's warm here. This is uh, Francis Peabody. He was the founder of Chatham, the man who started this little town called Chatham in uh, 1760. He was born and he died here in Chatham in 1841. So that's a while ago. You can see my shadow there, right? Yo, salam! <laughs> So that's the little park where I thought I'd bring you down to see a bit of my part of the world. Inshallah you like that. What do you think, Francis? He's been thinking here for many years about all of the changes in this town. Yeah. Here's some more information about the father of the settlement. And as you know, his name is... Uh, Francis Peabody. What you find interesting here, maybe you, that's an old picture of him, uh, this side of the text is in English and maybe you know what language that is. That's not English. That's the other official language of Canada, which is French. À l'arrivée de Francis Peabody en 1800, il n'y avait qu'une poignée de fermes dispersées sur les terres densément boisées de la Miramichi. So that's the English version, or the French rather, sorry. And this is the English. When Francis Peabody arrived in 1800, only a handful of farms peppered the dense woodlands of the Miramichi. With not a road, bridge, or store in sight, the river was the only highway on which traveling merchants like Peabody moved goods to and from Halifax. That's a bigger city in Canada on the Atlantic Ocean. But unlike other businessmen who came and left, Peabody saw potential. Mooring his schooner permanently, he purchased property and built a home, naming his residence Chatham. His ventures in trade, shipbuilding, and lumbering brought prosperity to the area, and around his home, Miramichi's first town, Chatham, emerged. Well, there you go. This is another man here 
from old times, maybe a hundred years ago. His name is William S. Logie, and some of the things that you could buy from his stores, blueberries and uh, what's this one here? Rock lobster. Mmm, lobster is a kind of fish. Seafood is good. Anyway guys, that's it. Here's the bridge, statue, Francis Peabody, and Waterford Park. All for your viewing pleasure. Okay, so I thought I'd give you a little tour of my town and maybe you can give me a tour of your town as well. What I'd like you to do is to make a short little video showing me some of the things in your neighborhood and what you do during these quiet times. <laughs>